Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXC UK. I want to welcome you to this video um, where I'm showing you my most recommended antenna for the TEF6686 second revision, and that is the MLA30 antenna. Now, an explanation. Um, what it is is that the TEF6686 second revision doesn't have an internal ferrite antenna um, for the long wave and the medium wave bands. Um, you'd have to make do with using the internal whip antenna, especially the one that comes with this TEF6686. And the problem is using the uh, whip antenna indoors, um, when you're DXing indoors, you, you receive a lot of noise, not only from inside your, your home or your flat, like for example, I live in a ground floor flat, but also from the neighbor's devices. And even, you know, from the neighbors, you know, from neighboring blocks um, or houses, uh, like me, I, I receive, you know, noise from, you know, down the road. I receive noise from LED street lights that, the, the you know, they just recently put up nearby here. And that is a, a problem. And the thing is, the internal ferrite antennas that are found on most portable radios, they're very good at minimizing noise, especially when you're using your radio indoors to listen to long wave and medium wave signals. Like you can turn the radio left, right and so on. And that reduces that, you know, electrical noise that's uh, been received inside. Um, your room or your house but using the whip antenna it doesn't help at all you just get a lot of noise um, like I said when trying to DX indoors um, on long wave and medium wave and also short wave too so um, but short wave you don't use the ferret antenna you use the whip antenna anyway on uh, portable radio so we're gonna have a listen here the station I'm listening to here is BBC Radio 5 live from here in the UK and it's quite noisy okay and that's using the internal uh, whip antenna the one supplied the one that came with the radio okay so that's noisy and that's not ideal so what we're going to do is we're going to get our MLA 30 antenna so now I've got my MLA 30 uh, I brought it out and um, I put it in the same position as where I had my whip antenna here so like well my whip antenna was on the radio connected to the radio itself and the MLA30 is more or less in the same position but I'll move it in a moment closer to the radio so to make it a fair comparison so um, the good thing about the MLA30 antenna is that it has because this is an uh, SMA connection this is a SMA female connection here on the TF6686 on the second revision and the MLA30 antenna has the 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 male version the SMA male version and we, all we have to do here is we connect our MLA30 antenna to the TEF6686. Now the other thing of course is you have to power the uh, MLA30 antenna. I've got uh, a power bank here that's um, powering up my uh, MLA30 antenna. You might have to use something to uh, keep powering on your MLA30 anten antenna. I've got a, um, I think it, they call it a uh, always power on USB device. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below where I got it from because if I just connect the MLA30 antenna to my power bank on its own it'll switch off after a while and the reason for that is because the MLA30 antenna doesn't use a lot of power um, the power bank thinks that um, I'm not using you know uh, you know it thinks it's not using uh, any power at all and so it automatically switches off because it has an automatic uh, power save uh, feature which uh, I cannot disable so just something that uh, you might want to get if you want to connect your MLA30 antenna uh, sorry if you want to power your MLA30 antenna using a, a USB power bank okay so that all right then so what we're going to do is we're going to switch on our radio our TEF6686 let it boot up and it sounds a lot cleaner now Let's bring it closer to the radio. Yeah. Have it more or less in the same position as where we had the whip antenna. Sounds a lot cleaner. A lot, lot cleaner. There we go. And there we are. And this is why I recommend... Let me just lower the volume. And this is why I recommend the MLA30 antenna for the um, TEF... 6686 because like, like I said it doesn't have an internal ferret antenna for long wave and medium wave and that would have been very useful to get um, you know good reception uh, when you're DXing indoors especially when now we're you know we're approaching winter here in the UK and it's it's getting very cold for you know during the evenings 
and night times when before I used to take my radio um, you know outdoors um, to DX so let me just switch off this radio let's disconnect our MLA 30 let's put back on our whip antenna extend the antenna let's turn on our radio and let's see how we get reception now with the whip antenna hear that you're getting noise if I put my hand on the radio it goes away but that's not ideal is it okay yeah But even so, even with um, my hand on the radio, um, and, and because it reduces the noise, um, at the same time it still sounds weaker than the MLA30 antenna. So let's turn this radio off. Let's put this off. Let's take off the whip antenna from here. Put back on our MLA30 antenna. Switch on the radio. Now MLA 30 antennas on. They have seen their land steadily devolved. They look a lot better. Plagued by violence, their economy is stifled, their people displaced, and their homes demolished. Yeah, and it sounds a lot cleaner. They and I don't need and I don't need to put my hand on the radio in order for some of the noise to disappear. The yeah. the the and there. And those Let's go. Let's go to the, um, I think, yeah, we go. Let's go to the shortwave band. Let's see if we can find something. Yeah, works for the shortwave band, as you can hear. You can hear in China, here in Beijing, Mongtogo on the west. Sounds side. very good. There was so, so severe flooding. There's flooding in different parts of Europe now. Let's uh, try the long wave band. And there's not a lot hap you know, to receive on long wave these days with so many stations left. Got hundreds, if not thousands there, BBC Radio 4 long wave. I mean, that's very easy to receive anyway. You could have got it with the whip antenna as well. But the MLA 30 antenna, it just gets it a lot cleaner. Yeah. It was far too wide. And I'm going to let go of the radio. There. Nice, clean signal and sound. Serious problem of knife crime among young people in this country. So there, so that's just uh, an example of using the MLA30 antenna on the TEF6686 and why I recommend this, the MLA30 antenna for the TEF6686 because when DXing indoors on long wave, medium wave and short wave, you're going to get a lot cleaner signal than just using this, the uh, whip antenna supplied with the radio. It's good for the FM band but not so good for, like I said, long wave, medium wave and short wave. You're just going to get lots of electrical noises, static noises and so on uh, from, like I said, not only from your own home, but from neighboring homes, neighboring blocks, streetlights and so on. So thank you very much for watching uh, 73s. I'll see you in another video.